again. Today I'm joined by Ariane. I'm actually acting in South Korea right now. I've been on a few dramas and uh, eventually right now coming up a few uh, movies and mostly acting work in Korea. You're from Quebec? Yeah, Quebec. So Canada, Quebec. So I've prepared a few questions for Ariane regarding like being a foreign actress in Korea and some tips and tricks because I know a lot of you guys are very interested in coming to Korea and working in the entertainment business. So I thought while I'm asking these questions, I might as well do her makeup. <laughs> so uh, this is gonna be a, a makeover slash um, interview. <laughs> I like that. The weather here is great, it's sunny and very hot, so we're gonna start with some sunscreen. What made you want to become an actress? Actually, that was since I was a kid, I've always wanted... I basically was acting my whole life kind of with my parents and stuff. Oh. <laughs> kind of like, you know, like those obnoxious kids that always have attitude. <laughs> Actually, thinking of um, work in general, I was thinking, hmm, what can I do? And like, so many things I want to do in one life, so yeah. I'm like, well, actor, I can actually do all those jobs. Mm. And uh, why Korea? Well, actually, the language is really what pushed me to come here. I wanted to do acting and I wanted to speak Korean, so mm, those two things don't really go together in any other countries. Yeah. In my case, I had no knowledge about how the industry worked or how working as a foreigner could uh, happen in Korea, so I was like, Okay, let's go safe. So uh, I was teaching kindies for two years and a half. I started doing temporary work. Uh, at first I did three month visas and then having to do visa runs all the time. Mm. Always live like this. <laughs> oh my God, visa issues is the biggest problem here, I feel like. Yeah, like when you get a, the first time you, you get access to an E6, which is like a one year visa, that's what you have, right? Yeah, that's my E6. Yeah. It's like, holy grail! Yeah. <laughs> For me, it took two, almost two years to actually uh, switch. And So was that because you signed with an agency? Exactly. And the next question that I want to ask you is about your role in Mr. Sunshine. Aha! Because that was actually like, when, when I met Ariane, it was at a party and I didn't know you were there. And I was like, <laughs> when I walked in, because I'm a huge Mr. Sunshine fan, and I saw you and I was like, Is that, is that who I think it is? And I was, I was like fangirling. <laughs> so weird, because when I went for that audition, there was like two lines. Mm. Like the only lines were like, but it's just like a discussion with uh, Kim Teddy, the actress Kim Teddy, mm. and Pumi, the uh, the young child that is uh, my most most faithful student, mm. um, the one who runs all the errands, and she's and um, we're talking to their uh, together, and she's like. That's the time she's like, oh, I speak English too, I know words. And she's like, I know gun, I know glory, I know sad endings. For me, that was like such a boring scene because I was saying basically nothing. It was like, how am I supposed to be a character when it's such a bland scene? But in the end, it ended up being a very important scene. Mm -hmm. And he used my voice uh, for the very first commercial like ad that they made. Oh really? Yeah, I didn't know that. But that that role that you got was mm -hmm. was like that was really big, right? Much bigger than I expected. Actually, mm. when I filmed, I went and they were like, uh, we filmed the first scene with. Uh, it was not in order. Like we didn't really film in order, but like the first film, uh, scene I filmed, they were like, I'll see you next time. And I was like, what do you mean? I'm coming again. Yeah. Huh? Like they didn't tell you you got the role. Hell yes, but she was just like. She was like, oh, there's a young girl, you might come out again. But like, I didn't realize that like that would be like a long term. I was literally in eight episodes. So yeah. It was pretty cool. And it's also the the only drama that I went to a fitting before they even started filming. Mm. So the clothes were made for me. <gasps> like, they were all like That's made so nice. on my measurement and adjusted. Okay, so like, how is the... Because you were acting alongside very closely with with a lot of like really famous actors and actresses here in Korea. So how, how were they like um, in real life? It's so funny because when you like, when you see actors from afar, you're always like expecting what they look like in real life or what their real attitude is. You're like, what kind of person is is that person? And like uh, for Lee byung for example, I was like, this man is so, like his career is just like, like over. <laughs> Yeah, he, he's uh, just like, he can't even count, <laughs> he's over the top. Mm. And 
he probably has no time for bullshit, like, as in, like, mm. he pretty, like, I, I imagine him like a kind of poker face. He's a puppy. Oh, He's so sweet. He's like, he's gonna greet everyone. They're all kind of calling him Hyungnim, like big brother. Like, <gasps> even the directors so are calling cute. him like Hyungnim. But he is greeting everyone up to the extras. And when you say hi to him, he's gonna say hi back as in like, I actually care and wanted to see you kind of thing. Yeah. Since he's, he does speak English sometimes, he would be like, this is the line, but this is what, like discussing in Korean as well. Mm. Uh, this is the line, but this is what it's supposed to mean. And I don't feel like it, that's, mm, that's what it means. Yeah, kind yeah. of thing. So we would be like, what is better? Or mm. sort of like, it'd be like, should we change it? So like, I, I found it really like, uh, inspiring that you would ask a lonely yeah. me uh, oh, that's so for sweet. my opinion. Honestly, I think he's he's, he's really so hot. Handsome. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just as gorgeous in real life. Oh my god. To be honest, the person that I was the most surprised with mm. is the Kinnami, the one who did the Japanese guy, Takashi. Mm. This guy is a sweetheart. We actually like got makeup next to each other, so we talked forever. So if we're like jumping away from Mr. Sunshine again and then just like casually um Acting, mm -hmm. casually. <laughs> um, casually acting. I'm just saying. What? Uh, so, what do? You, what is the requirements for a foreigner who wants to model in Korea? No, not no model. Modeling. Um. I don't have any of those requirements. You can ask this beautiful lady over there. <laughs> uh, acting, acting. For foreigners wanting to act in Korea. Uh, to be honest, if you're willing to put the effort. Uh, there's a lot of uh, work for extra because they always want people to extra. If even if you have no abilities in acting and or English at all, you can start with extra so you see how it goes. It's basically really long hours of waiting, but then you see your face somewhere, so it's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, so even if you have no experience, I wouldn't say like don't do it. I would say go ahead and then learn on the spot. I'm all about like I mean I know like some people go to extensive theater. Uh, s schools and there's like organism and like the West and America mm. and, the st uh, and the States and Canada but in my case I did I like to learn on the spot I mean I did like uh, musical comedy and I mean musicals and theater before there's a lot of Facebook groups for um, actors in Korea so you can just like constantly look at it and send your profile and always be ready for auditions so there is actually a lot of auditions for foreigners here there are uh recently more and more actually they use there there used to be like very little but mm. obviously most of them were uh in english mm. now that more and more they're trying to include uh korean speaking roles with it which is basically uh, so nice for me because that's yeah. really what i want to do before there wasn't so it's enough. not a requirement actually if you wanna if you wanna act here to 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 speak Korean. Oh no, most of uh, most of the people who are uh, often there are Russian people actually. Russian mm -hmm. people living in Korea or like having married Koreans or doing modeling, they're gonna do like extra movie on the side. So to be extra, you just need to be available that day, basically. Mm. So yeah, my advice would really be, you need to know that you'll work hard. It's not like, hi, I'm in Korea. People are gonna scout me because I'm beautiful. Mm. Even if you're, well, you can get scouted for modeling maybe, mm. but for acting, you're not gonna get scouted. You need to do the work. You need to actually go and actively look on the groups. I have a friend, she literally goes like, on every single acting Facebook sites that she has, and um, what's it called? Craigslist every hour, literally yeah. every hour. She's gonna look if there's new stuff. Wow. So she's always, she knows every single job that comes up like almost like at the hour. So what is the makeup look you're giving me today? Um, so your makeup, I wanted to match cause you have a little reddish hair. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to match it with not reddish makeup, but more peach. Mm -hmm. So it fits your tone. And I did some pink cheeks. And now I'm just um, shaping you and shaping the eyebrow now. Okay, so I have one more last question, and that is um, what is the tip you want to give foreigners who want to come here and become an actress or an actor? Um, the best tip I can give you is 
don't expect things to come to you go to them and don't, never stop you have to keep getting uh, and even if you get a few jobs you need to keep your face there well, Koreans uh, in the industry have a very short-term memory so even if an, an agent were to give you tons of jobs if they didn't for a while they won't actually think about you you need to just keep like you mm. know Hi, I'm Taking, still here. Poking. Take new pictures often so you can like uh, make your profile more up to date. And in all, oh, the biggest thing I can tell you that will make a difference. In the West, when you audition, they're thinking you need to be a blank slate. Very clean, like tied up, black outfit. In Korea, it's like they have no, I don't want to blame, it's just their way of functioning. It's like they have no imagination. You need to already look the part that they want you to be. And then if you do, then be like, oh, this is what I want. They take you. So uh, That's you need right. to already be the role they want. <laughs> Actually, in, 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 in Korea as well, for modeling, for modeling, um, what is it called? Auditions mm -hmm. and the like, castings. Mm -hmm. Usually in the West, you should show up, yeah, again with clean slate. You want like no makeup, hair tied up and simple clothing. Mm -hmm. But here you have to show up looking your absolute best so they know what they can do with you. It's, uh, it's, it's like they don't know what to do. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. This was very nice and successful. So, um, makeup's done. <claps> Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it very interesting to hear about like this kind of approach to a life in the entertainment business in Korea. Hope it was helpful and thank you to Ariane for coming out. Thanks for inviting me. Sure. I will leave uh, her SNS down below. So if you want to follow. Click that. So thank you guys. Bye.